And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. I know what you're thinking. You're like, hey, I thought there wasn't supposed to be a podcast this week. But um, just got back from New York, so I thought, what better way to relive the infinite memories than to capture it on a podcast? Right. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, th- I thought it was uh, a really great learning experience going to New York. Mm-hmm. It's it's weird how, um, not really weird, but like you know those like uh, those trips where you go like like a class trip to somewhere yeah. and then like like those educational trips. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Do they even do those anymore? Sort of like the. I'm not sure. Maybe. You know, like those, or maybe it's only for like really rich schools. You know? I don't know. <laughs> like, 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 you know, what I'm saying where they go to like Rome, and then like it was like in uh, oh. Lizzie McGuire. I'm not, I'm not talking about like the the one where you go to like Montreal, but like those those like far. Maybe that's just in movies. Uh, maybe yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so just got back from one of the greatest cities in the world. It officially took my top spot as best city I have ever been to. Right. Yeah. You you said you've been to New York before. Yeah, well, a while ago. Oh, did did you like it? Do you remember it? Kind of, not uh, really. Not too too much, no. Oh, okay. Also, I guess it wasn't that. Well, unless you were like super young, like how old? No, were it wasn't you? that young. Uh, okay. Or maybe uh, you hadn't grown the appreciation for like culture yet. You're just like, ah. Eh, I've been to many cities. Trip. That's probably also why. Maybe like it's like I remember oh, more trip. of Chicago. That would be the more of a later time that I went to or earlier like like uh after New York right so oh I see I see so it was like the yeah so it was the last thing so you remember the yeah the most yeah Yeah. so did you go on like a city tour or something like that like how come you went to like New York and Chicago uh we that's I had I think a family in New York and uh just the trip to Chicago. Oh, that's kind of cool. Do you have like a favorite city? N- no, not a city, not necessarily. Or like a, a place? Well, yeah. well, no, that's kind of cheating. Cause yeah. like I have a favorite place, yes. Hawaii, <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> um, but no, you're not. Have you been to like the main city in Hawaii? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been. I, I did, we did island hopping, so we went for okay. started off in in the city, which is the only one that has the tall buildings. And then yeah, yeah that, okay. Was it that, good? Was it like? Uh, yes, so some of the view, like, view-wise, but, like, I didn't really focus on people, or, like, the way right, okay. the culture is, no. But, like, I prefer w- not is it, like, city. livable? Oh, okay, so you would never live in... Hawaii, like, in the city of Hawaii? In yeah. Hawaii? No. Does, I, that, uh, does it have an Apple store? I don't know, actually. Oh, okay. That that's I like, don't know. That's, like, a deal-breaker for me. Need the Apple Store. Oh no no! Of course they'll have one. Of course. Oh okay yeah. No, yeah. That's what I'm saying yeah. Oh I don't know. I was thinking like the like the New York one like something oh, like, monumental like an, like an impressive Apple Store. Oh, okay no no I just meant like an Apple Store. Yeah of course period. they have an Apple Store. Oh okay cool. All yeah. right yeah so that's good. Yeah. But like uh, city wise, uh, not too much. Yeah, you're, uh, you're not a city fan. You'd prefer like the countryside. Uh like uh yeah I guess. It's not like at least uh, if things are there, close by, yeah, or a little bit like modern. Like that's why I liked uh, Hawaii because it's one of those modern nations, but also an island. Right, right, totally, totally. So, do you remember Hong Kong at all? Uh, in Hong Kong, I a little bit, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Did did you like that? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, is it like? Like, do you remember why you liked it, or you just like? It was, I guess because you're like not really a super city person, so it's like you can't really weigh in on like why you think a place is cool <clears throat> in terms of a city or not. Right. But yeah, that was my number one spot in the beginning because like the efficiency, mm-hmm. and then like it became Singapore because it was like a cleaner <laughs> version of Hong of Kong. Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is like, this is really cool, and then like. I'd never been to New York before, but then going there, um, it's it's like the culture. Well, I guess like everything about it, like the efficiencies there, because like the subway. But I didn't really like the subway. Do you remember the subway at all? It's yeah, like super yeah, smelly, yeah. kind of sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't really have the best of the systems. Although a lot of people like 
they're like, oh, the subway system in New York's really great because you can go everywhere. And it's like, yeah, you can, but like, it's also kind of sketchy. So, mm-hmm. I didn't find it. As uh, easy I don't know. As, I don't like, remember much about their subways. Like, all I know is, uh, like, the subway system. What I really liked was Paris because okay, it's yeah. it's really really cra- like a crazy system they have because it's like all over the place but you can get your get, okay get anywhere so very so easily. all right so my, my question is this so like you know how like here in toronto it's mm-hmm. like if you go on one side and then if you want to go in the opposite direction you just go on the opposite side of the track yeah okay in new york it's not like that okay it's like you have to go to a different platform entirely and you're like what this is so confusing well it's where did you like at the main spot no, no, like, we, we went in the wrong direction, so we got off, and we're like, okay, let's just take across the track, and my sister was, like, looking at the GPS, and she's like, no, it's telling us to go to the other track, which is, like, different, higher, uh, I was like, what, that makes no okay. sense, okay. why would it efficient, is that how, like, Paris was? Uh, yeah, Paris, uh, it so it's not, like, has, it's not direct, it's yeah, like, it's not necessarily, no, no, Paris has so many layers, yeah, I hate that, I yeah. really didn't like that, yeah. about, like, New York, it's but I, confusing, I, but I liked, uh, yeah, I get, I, no, no, it is confusing, but once you get used to it, it's, like, there's so many ways, in, especially in Paris, there's so many ways to get around, like, oh, okay, yeah, because everything is crisscrossing, there's, like, like, I don't understand, like, because they're u- uh, using all the, like, the old, tunnels stuff that's been there for centuries right so that's what that's what they've been that's how they made it there so Hmm. interesting but uh i don't remember much about new york subway system though are are you um are you a fan of like like did you go to grand central yeah it was all right it was an app store yeah oh that's what that was i saw like like three apple logos and i was like they got an apple store inside the grand central station okay okay (laughs) You know what's weird? When I, so I saw this like weirdo go into the bathroom, yeah. and like, mm-hmm. as like we we kind of went to go like buy something, and then we came back, and then there was like a police officer outside, and I was like, oh, what is this? Like, let me like watch the commotion. I I almost feel like you know like Toronto is like stuff. Actually, no, coming back before I went to New York, I was like kind of worried about Toronto because it's like oh like there's so many weirdos and stuff, right? But there's even more weirdos in New York. So, like, coming back here, it's almost, like, laughable how I was worried about these people. Yeah, they like, have a bigger, way bigger population than us. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so. like, the, the crazies there are, like, super crazy yeah. and, like, <laughs> violent, you know? Uh, but so, like, right. the guy went into the bathroom, this weirdo, and then, like, when we were coming back, there was a police officer, and then I was like, oh, like, let's stand around and watch. And, like, because there's so many people, I was like, I didn't feel, like, worried to stand around and watch. And it was the same guy that I saw go in there. I was like, oh, yeah, he did look weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And, like, um, but I guess that, like, that ties into my other observation of New York, which is, like, there's so much crime going on, which is, like, weird but understandable, mm-hmm. you know? Not necessarily in, like, New York, New York City, but, like, every right. day on the news it was, like, about, like, Brooklyn or, like, Queens yeah. Like, there was, like, a mass shooting of, like, a guy. Uh, well, not mass shooting. I guess, well, in Toronto, we'd be like, oh, it's a mass shooting. But, like, in there, it was, like, one guy was, like, shooting up the place. And, mm-hmm, then, like, mm-hmm. five police officers, like, took him out. Yeah. And then, like, the news was going in such in-depth about, like, how they took him down and, like, where they shot him. And, like, they even showed, like, scenes of the gun on the ground with, like, blood. And it was like, wow, this is your day-to-day violence. You know, even yeah. the guy that like they even in like so that's New York. Well, I mean, it makes sense it's a city, but New York has the like the more stricter gun laws, but still they do. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, they can oh. try, but it's like you can easily bring them across state lines. Right? Yeah, totally, totally. So that's why the that's why the rhetoric always on the right is more like, oh, they have all this violence and they have like the stricter gun laws. So right. That's right. why they need guns to protect themselves. That's so, how they use that rhetoric. To- I totally. Guess, I you know I totally. All right, so. Going there, I would agree with that. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I wouldn't agree with that. Going there, so, like, before, when I'd watch, like, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu stuff, mm-hmm. and they'd be like, oh, um, if everyone knew Jiu-Jitsu, there'd be, like, less gun violence. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I was like, yeah, that makes total sense, right? Like, yeah, you would be more confident, you know how to handle yourself without a gun, et cetera, et cetera. But then going there and seeing the news and stuff, which is probably also propaganda, you know, a lot of it's like tailored towards like fear mongering. Um, but 
it's like, why would you go hand to hand with somebody that probably has a gun? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, no matter how much like martial arts you know, the dude with the gun's gonna take you out every time. Mm-hmm. You know, because that one guy. So okay, this is, this is already sketchy. So it was a guy in a mask going around shooting up places. Right. Right. He shot at the cop car, and then like five guys, <laughs> like five police officers, came out and like they like took him out. Mm-hmm. Right. And like the commissioner was like, "Oh, I'm so proud of my my men for being so courageous." You know, et cetera, et cetera. But it's like, like, in a world, not a world, but like in a country or region with like so much gun violence, it's like you got to fight stones with stones. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, it, it almost makes no sense, like, why you would learn any other discipline. That's what I felt going there. Right, right, right. No, the issue they have, that issue problem is because of the... yeah legalization totally. of having and, guns. And I believe I'm a big proponent of like you should just take away all the guns. It makes no sense. Like why would we all have guns? Mm-hmm. Like other countries totally do it fine like Canada and like I mean a lot um, of the guns that, that happens here news wise is also a lot of these guns come from America. Yeah totally 100%. Right. And it's funny like what I found really ironic not ironic but like laughable was um, like people in Toronto yeah. So like like Toronto is kind of like it's very similar to New York, but it's like the little brother, where it's like like the mom like you have the older brother that's like mm-hmm. bad, and then the mother's like don't be like your big brother, but then mm-hmm. you still want to be cool, so you still kind of mimic your big brother stuff, right. but like you, you're not as hard as him, because like you know you don't want to get into the craziness that he's got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they they all have the exact they like both places have the same stuff which is like different cultures and like you can find anything and it's it's a big city right but like it's just on such another level mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah i found that i found that but so like it's it's laughable that like when you when i came back or like you hear so many people talking about how like hard toronto can be you know like oh man like Watch out for but the that's what I, uh, boys. But that's what I've always said, right? Like, because right. I've seen it, and it's all, or like, you know, like, I don't know. I, just, I remember saying that as a kid, too. That's why I was like, no, it's always America. What are you talking to- about? Totally, totally. But, like, all right, so, like, <laughs> if you're listening to this and you're like, you're like, yeah, but a third world country. So I used to think, like, okay, Toronto's pretty hard for, like, a first world country. Because, mm-hmm. like, obviously in a third world country, you have, like, craziness going on that's, like, you know, yeah, unthinkable. Yeah. But, like, no, going to a first world country where it's like guns are legal, poverty's high, <laughs> yeah. people are stacked, they can't pay for their bills. Like, mm-hmm. like, sure, Toronto's pretty hard if you're looking at it from Toronto's perspective. Right, right, right. But like watching that news with like, so like, all right, a gun, a gun shooting will happen in Toronto, mm-hmm. and then like, um, and then we'll all be like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Like this never happens, right? But then like. Over there, a gun shooting happens, and the guy that they interviewed was like, "Hey, man, this is, it's an everyday occurrence here. Like, it's no big thing." And I was like, "What? Yeah, yeah. Like, you're you're not even shocked by this? Like, he's like, yo, over here is like, dun, 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 dun. and we're like, oh no, no. Actually, they weren't even like, oh no. no They're no. like, oh, <laughs> like stuff that's, stuff's going down. But then you like you see the interview of like, uh, those gang shootings in Toronto, and then like, I don't know if you've watched them, but like the guy's like, no. I'm so shocked." It never happens in this area blah, blah, like a bullet came through my window and like it's mm-hmm. never been this dangerous and it's just like yeah but imagine if that was like your every day right. you just like habituate to it yeah. and where does that come from that comes from like poverty and like guns so you just have to fix poverty and guns and it's like because mm-hmm. like because like what are what are no, like, no, yeah, people yeah. who are like using gangs for right like you you join a gang because you want protection and you want some sort of sort of source of income yeah Right, but like, but like, if you had like lots of money, why would you join a gang? Mm-hmm. Well, you join a bigger gang, which is like corporations, <laughs> technically. But like, you wouldn't need like the guns to like fight your way through it. You like use the legal system, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like that's that's those are the big issues there with like gun violence and like violence in general. It's just like poverty and like, like. Yeah, it, you're it, it, like has, giving, it has a lot to do with poverty. Yeah, right, especially. You, you're you're basically giving these like people who are desperate a weapon. Mm-hmm. And you're like, of course I'm going to use a weapon. 
makes no sense. Right. You know? And there was this one guy that was, like, going around and was on the news. Like, he was, like, like choking people from behind okay. and, like, attempting to rape women. And it was like, dude, this is, like, insanity. Like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. You know? But, like, also at the same time, like, how many of these are going on as compared to, like, what's not going on? Right. That's, a, that's another question. Like, because, you know, like, before... I used to think like, oh, news is so negative, like in Canada, because they focus on like the negativity. But it's like going to New York is like that's like ten times worse than like what <laughs> I thought. You know, right. negative news was. You know. Well, I mean, news is just supposed to report on. Oh, th- which actually. Right, so speaking of that, which is very fascinating, is like. Uh, I get why alternative media is so big there. So like here, it's like it's pretty neutral. Yeah. Right, like we we like to say like oh propaganda and stuff and like I'm a big proponent of that too. Like being a marketer, it's like I love looking into like propaganda, marketing mm-hmm. tactics, etc. But like there, it's like so ridiculous. Like they were they were talking about like the headline was like about like Mexican werewolves. Okay. Right, and I was just like, werewolves. Was like, what does that yeah, we're literally. And that's what I thought too. And I was like, I was like, no, that's probably a troll or something, right? And then uh-huh. my sister was like, no, like read it, and it's like. It's like when the full moon's out, like we don't know what's going on or something like that. Right. Like, watch out for these like werewolves, and I'm like, why would you even put that in like a major publication? You know, a major like, <laughs> but it was Fox News though, so it's like, oh, right. So it's right, like, that, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> you know, that makes um, more sense for Fox News to do that. Though. But still, it's like weird. Like, why would you allow this? Like legally, why would you allow this? They're just, like, brainwashing people at that point. Because well, uh, people are going to read that, and they're like, oh, my God, they're, you heard about the werewolves? But did you, do you um, well, do you know, the like, the especially with the Fox News, the reason behind why Fox News exists? No. Uh, basically, the guy that created it was just wanted to have a conservative voice. Oh, okay. I didn't That's know all that. it was for. But then what's with, like, the weird, weird headlines? Uh, because that's their conservative voice is fear tactics. Oh yeah, true, true, true. I see what you're saying. Yeah, see, like that's so that that's why alternative media sources are so big there because it's like, oh, we're getting real news sources. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like yeah, because you're you're provide like that's it's just weird like coming back and like oh we have it so good in Canada and I just never realized it. Before. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, like like with the news even just being like oh i can trust this news source like right. there's going to be some bias there's always some bias of but course, like of you're never going to tell me that there's some werewolves bro you know like <laughs> what yeah that's it's insanity yeah and um uh, with the local well that news... is generally fox news though i don't think you'll see that on no so the other check, ones. check this out so so the local news was like they're only playing like the same five stories all day yeah right about like the shooter the um the rapist Somebody got hit by a, a car in Brooklyn, and they're like, "We're gonna pause." But it's so it's so like unprofessional the way the news is like mm-hmm. hosted there. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like, "Oh, we caught on camera." This is literally how they were saying it. Like, we caught on camera this person being hit by a car. But don't worry, we're gonna pause it right before he gets hit because it could be gruesome. And it was like, "Oh, what? what? Oh, they're making it Why like would you a... see it like that." <laughs> <laughs> like what you know what I mean like, oh, that's funny it's so weird and then like uh, when they were talking about like, I think it was the weather they were they didn't even have like oh that's so funny. Um, graphics yeah they were showing they were filming a TV mm-hmm. so, like the TV had the weather thing and they were filming the TV with the weather thing and it was like this is kind of like cheap you know oh okay okay like, yeah, yeah yeah you yeah, know yeah. like they have a cutaway here and then it'll right. show like the graphics and stuff mm-hmm. they were like filming the TV so it was like Inception Okay, okay. You're watching TV through the TV. Right. You know? And then, like, um, they were, they were <laughs> talked about, like, uh, like Kevin Hart's accident. But oh, they're yeah. like, this from TMZ. It was like, wait, what? Shouldn't you guys have your own reporting outlets? Like, <laughs> why is TMZ big? You know? TMZ is only about, like, celebrity tabloid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. kind of weird. Well, yeah. a lot of them... Well, I don't know much about the... Because they're not... They don't make the big bucks, right? Those small ones. Totally, totally, yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, oh and, and then, like, uh, they were, like, there was, like, some Carabana weekend or something that was happening. Mm-hmm. And then she's, like, um, why don't you show the viewers at home how you're going to dance for this? But don't get me fired now. <laughs> and I was, like, this is so unprofessional. Like, what? What, what network was that on, though? The local, local, uh, like, no, US but is it, one or something. Like that. But is it, like, 
NBC. Like that was the local news. Affiliates. It's, it's sort of like how we have CP24 here. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like covering. Right. But there, there, the no, I understand there's low. Yeah, but there's, they don't have a logo. It's just, just local, I guess. No, it's like, it just said like Toronto. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not Toronto. It said like New York One or something like that. I oh, forgot okay. what the name was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just really odd. It was almost like. Yeah, I don't. I didn't really watch the local stuff when I go there. I was just watching you. Like Fox yeah, News. Yeah, yeah. Like the big, the big networks, right? So yeah, because like, uh, uh, we don't. Uh, well, I just like Fox News because it makes me laugh. But could you could you imagine if this is all you see, like you're? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. Like it's like, there should be like a law, for like, for like media, and there should be a law for like no guns. And like. What was the minimum wage in like certain like four dollars in Montana? We're yeah, looking that up. Yeah. I Fifteen think... ideally in New York. Yeah, well, in the city maybe I think it's statewide. It's not yet fifteen, I think something like that. But could you imagine like so this guy bought a uh, Red Bull, right? Because we went to Shake Shack, which is like, mm-hmm. I know I'm like I'm totally harping on like the negativity of like New York, but it's it's my favorite city because <laughs> like no. Aside from these things, it's, like, such an awesome city. Or these things make it even cooler. Because it's, like, fake. Right, right. Like, going there was, like, very, like, unreal. Right. It's almost like I didn't trust everything I saw. I was like, was this totally made as, like, a play? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, like, so this guy was, like, he was leaving his shift at Shake Shack. And he bought, like, um, uh, a Red Bull. A regular Red Bull. And it was, like... Four or five dollars. Oh wow! Okay. So you're you're paying that, but your wage is like eight bucks an hour. So like that took you one hour to earn that Red Bull. Right. If you look at it in terms of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Of course, you're gonna turn to like easy money of like selling drugs and stuff if like this is your alternative. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna hustle so hard and like. That's the drug, like the. Like, you can see, like, both sides in New York. Like, you know, the poor, but then it's oh, also yeah, yeah, totally. oh, super, the rich super rich with yeah, the Wall yeah. Street. Yeah, that was that was weird, too, because, like, with Wall Street, it's like, oh, that was that was the big eye-opener. Like, I've always been saying, like, we came as Romans, mm-hmm. right? But, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're saying that. Yeah. Right, right. And, like, going there, it's like, oh, it's totally... This is, like, the new Rome. Like, everything mm-hmm. is so extravagant, and, like, what they described Rome being like. Right. You know, and like even the remnants were all there, like all the Roman remnants. But then I know the guy was saying like it's Dutch architecture, but it's like Dutch and like um, Europe, like England. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's like but those those were influenced by Rome. Right, right, right. You know, so like if you just trace it a little bit more back, you'd be like, oh, it's like Rome. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, onto some good stuff though, like <laughs> culture there is like so, like the hustle is so real out there that it like it inspired me to be like oh i should just like focus on stuff that i'm into like i still do it like obviously like, the hustle's still here right like, kind of like, like inspired you more it, it, it was like let me say that i do this right you know it's like this sort of like this thing like that we own do it, in own it yeah that's that's a great word yeah because like everyone there is like owning what they do like there's mm-hmm. so like because loitering is like legal there mm-hmm. like you have like random sellers selling like bad stuff but at the same time like not bad stuff but like fake stuff <laughs> but at the same time like you have people just performing their talents on the street right yeah, so yeah. that's why oh, it's yeah, like yeah. such an artistic feel yeah and then going back like when i was there i was like thinking about all the people that inspire me creatively and they all came from new york and i didn't even think about it mm-hmm. you know like jay-z uh casey neistat uh asap rocky mm-hmm all these people are from New York. Um, Nigel Sylvester, like BMX wise, um, right. but like it's weird because like it made me realize something about celebrityism too. Because like while I was down there, you could just hear all these people wanting to be famous, yeah. and it was like, it's like celebrityism because like people there they don't care about celebrities. I guess maybe that's what it would be like in LA too, mm-hmm. because like Joe Rogan talks about all the time. It's like people are like pining for attention. So right. it's like it's like oh like it's a famous person who cares about that person man I want to be famous yeah. you know it's kind of like that like I've got talents too so it's like it's almost like these like 
which actually is the truth. These corporations are like, who's the most marketable and who can I get my money back from? Mm -hmm. Because these people are like investments, right? Like, it's almost like being like a gladiator. So, you know, like gladiator times, like you would become a gladiator and then hopefully one day you'd earn your freedom if you made like enough money to buy yourself out. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like, all right, let's let's take, for example, like Jay-Z. So it's like a record company is like, we're going to hire Jay-Z because he seems pretty famous on the street. We're going to give him some more backing. We're going to develop him as an artist. And yeah. like he'll earn us back our money, mm-hmm. right? And and then some, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But then Jay Z made so much money through like sponsorship and endorsements. He's like, I'll just start my own company. Yeah. So that's almost like the gladiator freeing themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's it's interesting when you look at it like through that perspective. It's mm-hmm. like because like when you're a celebrity, you're just a commodity. I know we were talking about this before. But, like, with, uh, because I saw the Justin Bieber roast, and I was like, oh, you're not even a person anymore. You're just, like, the general public's, like, I will consume you as an entertainment resource, and as soon as I'm bored, you will leave me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, so it's like gladiators, you know? You're just trying to be... I mean, yeah, it's very much like that. Even, like, even with the, generally with the people that watch, or that, like... uh... Make me laugh, peasant. Yeah, <laughs> but then like, it's like they also want to see you fall. Yeah, it's true. That's yeah, also... totally. Like uh, Amy Winehouse. Why did we make that documentary about her like negative life experience? Mm-hmm. You know, um, I saw the Lady Gaga documentary. Again, negative life experience. It's like we like a tragedy. Yeah, you know, this is nothing but a Greek tale. Yeah, true. Yeah, they say like uh, uh, com- comedy and tra- life is a comedy and a tragedy. Mm-hmm. Because you'll either look at it and be like, oh, this is so sad. Or be like, oh, it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous that we're living. Right. Yeah. Um, so, like, well, what I realized, too, is, like, every country is trying to be, like, New York. I guess L.A., too, but I haven't been to L.A., so I can't really vouch for that. But, like, going to New York, all these people have their own different styles. Mm-hmm. So then when they become famous, like, other people start adopting their style. So, like... So, like, I watched, like, a lot of interviews of, like, ASAP Rocky, and he's, like, I've always dressed, like, this, like, very fashionable. He, yeah. wear, he wears, like, pearls. Mm-hmm. It's very odd, right? Yeah. Like, that's, like, for women. Like, shout out ASAP Rocky. You're awesome, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, like, so, like, he'll always wear that stuff. And then, like, when he became famous, he still wore it. And then people were, like, oh, I'm going to copy your swag now. Right. And they were, like, oh, like all these people are just copying like these famous people but like when you go to New York like everyone's got their own style Mm -hmm. that it's like if somebody became famous then we'd all be like oh I'm copying their style now you know what I mean like like you have these like little clicks of people that are like that are like ride or die for one another you hear it (laughs) on the subway you know they're like they're almost like a mini gang Yeah, yeah, yeah they're like a click right but then that whole click has like a definitive style you're like Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fascinating. Because it's like, where does our culture... Because I heard that in the tour. It's like, New York is like the the main source of culture for the world by changing culture. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what does that mean? And then seeing it there, it's like, oh, totally. Like, we're wearing baggy pants because of New Yorkers. Like, you know, these people... You know uh, 50 Cent's from New York? No. Yeah, see, like, even there you go. Yeah, but Eminem's not. Eminem's not. He's from Detroit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think each each state has their own style. Yeah, you know, like even with the music, there's a lot of people, a lot of music that comes from Atlanta. That's true too. Yeah, right? true, true, true. So like, what kind so, of culture do they have there? So it, it's almost like we we think that these artists are creating something for us to like consume, mm-hmm. like slang. Yeah. Perfect examples like slang, right? right? Where like people will start saying like slang words and mm-hmm. they're like, oh yeah, I heard that from the celebrity, right? But that celebrity has been using that slang word for a while. Right, right. right. Celebrities are celebrities because they don't copy other people. They like stand out on their own two feet and then they're like, you're going to copy me one day. Mm-hmm. You know, like trendsetters. Right. You know. Um, and then the people that just want to be celebrities, the people that are like, oh, it'd be amazing to be famous are the people that are just copying celebrities. So it's mm-hmm. like you're like on the coattails. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, so we went to like the sneaker store there, Complex's sneaker store, and like, guess guess how much sneakers are there? Like from this store specifically. I don't know, but I know sneakers are a huge thing 
and it's insane bro <laughs> it's like huge. Ev- we went to like chinatown <laughs> we went to like like every little like random culture they right. all they're all rocking the same str- like straight <laughs> brim hats okay. like those baseball yeah, hats yeah, yeah. that are flat yeah you know not curved they're, they've all got that and everyone's got amazing sneakers and you're just like <laughs> Is this like the epitome? Like this is like how you differentiate like classes here. You're like, yo, like it's almost like they'll make like crap money, mm-hmm. but they'll spend all their money on sneakers. Like everyone's got an amazing pair of sneakers, and you're just like, is it because you guys walk all the time? Like this is just the New York style. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think there's people there. It's like sneaker collection, right? That's also another. I, I guess, but all right, go, go back to it. Guess how much it costs. My sister wanted to buy it, and I was like, don't buy it. This is stupid. I don't know. Uh... 500 that's pretty good that's actually the middle range so it's between 500 and a thousand mm-hmm. like 1300 something like that right insane and you're just like why <laughs> but see so like they'll save up money you know like i guess like is it is it for the design is that i've no is some it of them look so collectible crap. does it become but but some of them look so like old i was like oh it's, but they're all like it's like the shrink wrap store but it's like it was like 300 bucks for this like terrible pair of sneakers right i was like oh it doesn't even look cool but it's like but that's probably cool the... for them i i get why you, you know like so like they they have these like again like here's a great example of like new york culture influencing the world so you know in toronto like everyone's like oh i got like this whole phase like toronto is very phasey because they're like mm-hmm. the little brother trying to catch up to the big brother right right so like everyone's like oh i want to get some like cool sneakers i remember that in high school like everybody wanted cool sneakers but then going to new york it's like yeah because they've been doing it for a while we're just mm-hmm. trying to be cool like them like look at my kicks but it's like no like these people will literally save up all their money and buy amazing kicks right yeah yeah <laughs> but like like it's just like we're like copiers of like style but i guess the whole world is right because like like new yorkers have been doing that for a while mm-hmm. you know and it's not even just like it's not even a select few it's like everyone's got amazing sneakers and you're just like <laughs> what yeah the collection is huge there oh Siri uh, oh. stop so like makes you wonder if she's like listening all the time no. oh. oh that's that's okay <laughs> All right. Sorry, we had, uh, we had to completely pause We don't want to get, um, what's the word? Um, YouTube banned. Yeah. <laughs> Copy strike. Yeah. Let's get kicked off YouTube. But yeah, so anyways, so, um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, fascinating that, like, they really are the epitome of style. And, like, if you look at all these, like, heavy hitters in culture today, like, these, like, people that are pushing for culture, they've all, like, They've all either like migrated to New York, or like mm-hmm. are from New York. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just I don't I can't really put my finger on like why it is. It's not location. No. Maybe it's because like all the big media companies are there. There in L.A. That, you always hear that, right? Like, L, New York and L.A. are like the big celebrity spots. Uh yes, I mean there's a lot of there is something about New York. Yeah that people are like drawn to it's yeah. weird yeah well i mean even i'm drawn to it like that became my new favorite city because it was like i get it the people are sick here it's something like uh, i forgot what they say but it's uh, it's just like the the culture i think it's the feel yeah. i think that's what that what that's about and oh you know what it is you know what else so like i've noticed that like slang mm-hmm. so like all right growing up in like like urbanish like high schools and stuff like you pick up on like lingo and slang right mm-hmm. and like going there it's like that's just the way they talk there like it mm-hmm. it's sort of like here it's like they would say like certain slang words and you're kind of like why are you saying that mm-hmm. but it's almost but like going there it's like no everybody uses that slang like even people that like there was this like spanish dude that obviously didn't listen to like um listen to like rap music but he spoke like like an OG. You know, like there's like a dialect and a cadence with his talk that it's like very like yeah. like gangster. Right. You're like, oh this is pretty you're a cool guy, you know? Mm. And then we like try and mimic that, especially here and like but like to see that it's just 
like it's been there for a while. Honestly, like the best way I can describe it is like New York is the big brother and Toronto's like the little brother that thinks they're like the big brother. Right. But it's like stay in your lane, bro. Even coming back, like then what is what does the other ones be like, right? What are what is Detroit like or what is Chicago compared to that? I think they're all they've all got their own style because you hear it in the rap, right? Like there's like an Atlanta style yeah. rap. I mean they have their own even their own accents too, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. and then we're, like we're you can tell like oh he's Brooklyn, he's from Brooklyn. Yeah, totally, from... totally. Yeah, yeah, Jersey, yeah. right? But like um, with like because I learned this in economics, it's like my my prof was big on like it's not globalization, it's Americanization, mm. right? And I was like, I get it, but I don't really get like I get what you're saying, but like to see it like to pair knowledge with experience was like, oh, I really get it. Like we the whole world is trying to be like America. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But it's like, it's like undeniable. We think that we're like our own, but it almost like, again, it goes back to the thing that like inspired me by going to New York. It's like, mm-hmm. just own who you are. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you're into that, just like be into that because like, because like it feels like, <laughs> so like, especially like growing up in like, in like mm-hmm. high school, right? And like, yeah. it's very like style, like wannabe oriented, mm-hmm. right? in like high school so it's like yo like I remember I was I was the only one that liked um, like I go back to this but like I was the only one that like pop punk screamo right and then like yeah. everyone was into rap music mm-hmm. and they were like oh you're you're so lame you don't like rap music right I hated it at the time because everyone <laughs> liked it so I was like oh this is so lame and then all of a sudden like Jay Z signs Fall Out Boy and then everyone's on the pop punk bandwagon right and like there's one guy I remember he like he was so OG and then like He's like, yo, you listen to that pop punk, bro? And I'm like, yeah, man, Blink-22 and stuff. He's like, no, man, I listen to that Dance Dance by Fall Out Boy. I'm like, that was because that was the hit that, like, <laughs> that was, like, the one hit that the, the like, hip-hop artist, like, right, 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 right. like, Jay-Z was backing. So come on, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, but then, like, in New York, it's like, you get, that's why you get weirdos, because, like, everyone's accepted. Like, mm-hmm. we think we're accepting here, but it's like, no, no, that's, that's real acceptance. It's like, just go find your clique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like there, it's like very much like go find your friends, mm. you know. But then that's why you also get like gang violence because like not really gang violence, but you get like factions fighting. Right. Because it's like, oh, why are you wearing black nail polish? We're gonna fight you. You're a loser, right? But like, but you can always have your like click as your yeah, 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 right. You know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I and, uh, I but, guess I gotta go and check it out again. Totally, yeah, yeah. I highly recommend it. Expensive, though. Very, very expensive. <laughs> yeah. But, but so, like, in that, though, so it's, like, that's a great example of, like, so the media made, like, rap music that came from, like, New York mm-hmm. popular. So then there you have it, like, in Canada, in my high school, like, everyone was, like, following that bandwagon, whereas, like, you know just be who you are mm-hmm. that was like the biggest lesson and takeaway from the trip from the educational trip right <laughs> yeah yeah I mean that's cool uh, that's why I like in general America yeah they have it's, a very like cool style yeah it's a, it's a variety of things over there yeah totally totally Right, it's like the food's amazing though. Oh, like, oh is it? Did you get oh, the freaking pe- pizza? So good. Yeah, the dollar pizza. Huh? Yeah, it's everywhere's got like dollar pizza. It's like <laughs> it's the thing. Yeah, that's yeah. New York, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's. Was it good? Yeah, I mean, it tastes like pizza. Oh, you didn't go to like a specific like piece of pizza place. Oh, like pizza. That, actually, actually, hold on. So like, we came as Romans. Great example. It's all about that New York pizza, right? But Rome, <laughs> Italy is where that pizza. Again, I okay. went right. No, for real though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I went to um, where's that place in Italy? N- N- Napolitana. Yeah, but N- it wasn't. That's Napoli. not. I get. I see what you're doing, but I, it's not. Tech, it's no, not. I'm, t- I'm saying the influence is there, bro. Like, no, 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 no. I'm totally. not saying that Rome is not the influence. I'm just saying yeah. that it's not because of pizza. No, no, but you know, it's not. It's not because of that. But it's the peppering of like the ancient culture like they have like Roman pillars oh yeah yeah see what I'm saying so it's like it's like that kind of stuff yeah. it's like you know that, that's very... where I believe like where I mean the, it was one of the first 13 states right that's New York yeah oh I didn't know that like gangs the, of New York <laughs> sorry like that's like the place where they kind of more or less populated first before like the, the, the actual 
Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe yeah. that's why it was so big because everyone had to pass through there. Yeah. So like, you got all the different cultures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone had it's, to pass through that. And when when you come from from Europe, that's that's where they go. Oh, okay. That's from Staten Island. Yeah. You you know, you know it's weird. You know, how, like in Toronto, we have like Chinatown. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh yeah, it's Chinatown because there's a bunch of like, you know, the same culture there. But like when you go to like Chinatown in like New York, it's like it looks like I'm in freaking Hong Kong. <laughs> I was like, right, this, right. this is insane. Mm. You know, again, little brother syndrome. You know, really trying to be like big brother. But I think that's everywhere. Everyone, every place has a, a Chinatown, or every place has a. Totally, totally. But something. it's like, but they're like really doing it. Right. You know, like we're like trying to do it, but they're really doing it. You know. Yeah. And I totally see how like Spider Man can get around. Because, yeah, like, yeah. It the makes buildings, sense. the buildings are totally <laughs> like conducive for Spider Man. Right. Like I like, like maybe in Toronto you get like two streets that are like that, but it's like everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like Spider Man can get all around New York. Mm. Yeah, which is why I wanted to play the game because I was like. Let me just go back there and like visit all these like boroughs and stuff that I couldn't see this time. But I don't know how well, or like how all of I don't know. Yeah, you'll check it out and see what you think. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I um. I went to the Empire State Building. Yeah. Great photo ops. So if you're a photographer out there, like definitely pay to go up and then just like Mm -hmm. shoot from the top. But it's weird because it's like you don't. It all looks like one amalgamation from from a top view. You know, but then when you get into like the actual areas, you're like, oh, these are like very specific and separate, like boroughs. Right. Like they're all different. Yeah. But like, it's just weird how like when you zoom out. Mm-hmm. I guess for like an astronaut too, he sees the world and he's like, oh, it's just one ball. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Which makes you think like we're all kind of one, but at the same time, it's like we're all like separate if you zoom into like right, our individuality right, right. yeah i don't know if there's like a spiritual connotation there but yeah you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah like the individual spirit is there but that's the the whole thing is that everyone's has an individual spirit so exactly oh yeah totally totally yeah great great um relation there yeah yeah, yeah totally because we all think we're like special but it's like yeah but if we all think we're special then nobody's special <laughs> or it's a bunch of people that think we're special right you know yeah oh, that's cool but own who you are. That yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Uh, the lesson that you That learn. is, yeah, is great, great, very <laughs> inspirational. Um, definitely going to go back. I want to see, but I'm kind of like worried though because like the news is really messed up, but like I want to see, um, oh, so this is fascinating. So Brooklyn is like the Scarborough of their area. So like you see like Toronto, mm-hmm. you know, like downtown Toronto, you're like, oh, it's very like modern and blah, 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 right? And you go to Brooklyn, like the gentrified area is amazing. Totally. But, like, you know when you drive through Scarborough and you're like, mm, this looks a little rundown? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's kind of there, but it's not. You right. Know? Um, but I want to see, like, Queens because I want to see where uh, Spider-Man's from. Okay. And see, there, again, like, I've always loved Spider-Man. And, like, Gotham City is basically New York. You know? Mm. You would disagree? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Because yeah, all, like, the crime and, like, the rich and then the poor like yeah i don't know i don't know i but think i think chicago is very similar to to new york in no in that aspect but I, it's not as big as new york though mm-hmm. it won't be as big as new york all right well then i'll just jump back to like my dc reference of like okay so i love spider-man so like see it, it's like mm-hmm. it took me so long to like piece all this together like how much new york has actually influenced right my like likes and mm-hmm. my taste and my style but like, yeah, it's weird. It's weird how like when you're a kid, you don't appreciate these things or like. Well, you're not really like if, if I was because yeah. I, I went to it. I went to New York mm-hmm. as a kid too, but like, don't even remember. Couldn't care right. less. Right, right. Because right. like all kids are like that, you know. Because <laughs> I saw it where I was going around. I was like fast, and I was like, wow, this is so awesome. But then like you see all the kids like home, go home or whatever. Oh, Pokemon Go is so big there. Yeah. So yeah, man, That's they have sick. like. Well, it, that's sick. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so awesome. They have like ads in the subway for Pokemon Go, and they have like special offers for mm-hmm. like Pokestops. Yeah. So like, um, my sister was showing me um, <laughs> that you like you spin the stop, and then you can ask the barista for the Pokemon Go drink. What? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But then your brother was saying like, yeah, certain places are sponsored by Pokemon Go. 
So okay. that's why that happened. Yeah, that makes sense to be in New York. Yeah, sure, yeah, because it's still, like, popping. But... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta go back, I guess. Yeah, totally. Totally. Um, highly, highly advocated. But if you don't like cities, like, don't go then. If you're interested in, like, seeing different cultures and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and, like, you like cities, definitely go, but, like, it can be overwhelming. Oh, another thing, speaking of overwhelming, Times Square is what I thought Tokyo was going to look like. So I've been to Tokyo, and I was like, eh, it's all right. Right. You know, it's clean. It's, it's pretty, like, wow. Mm-hmm. But, like, going to Times Square is, like, you're bombarding me with so much the media right now. <laughs> it's just, like, this is the future, man. Like, what's going on? Like, the screens. Oh, but then but they've I been saw... doing that for many, many years. Totally, right? totally. <laughs> yeah, but, like, but I hear, like, Shibuya in Japan, this, like, street is just like Times Square. So mm-hmm. like, maybe I just didn't hit that place up. But, like, Tokyo in general is, like, it's all right. It's kind of, it's not, it's not as impressive. Yeah. Right. But I thought this was so funny. Like, you know how like these are run by computers? Yeah. So like, or maybe this is an ad, but I highly doubt it's an ad. Um, one of the, so like, you know, how there's like multiple screens. So yeah. like those laptops are running those videos on loop on the screen. Right. Mm-hmm. That's how like media works. Right. Like, like if you walk, like if you're listening to this and you walk into a store and you're like, oh, well, how's that video playing? They have a laptop set up to play that video on repeat all day. Yeah. Right. So, one of the videos wasn't working, and all you saw, I'll show you after on it's on Instagram, but like it's just error message. And I, <laughs> and I wrote, I wrote on my casual like someone's getting fired. Cause like right. they didn't they didn't hit OK and then reboot the video. Mm-hmm. It's like stuck on an error message. So, like, you have all of these, like, videos, like, that are, like, fascinating. They're all, like, playing and stuff. And then you just have, like, one that's, like, crapped out. Yeah. And there were, oh, and speaking of which, um, there were, like, as we were going by on one of the nights, there was, like, a bunch of, like, naked men just standing around. It's like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, they were, I don't know if they were, like, in protest or something, but, like, they are just standing there naked. All right. Just old men. I thought it was Richard Branson at first because, like, the way he looked. Right. I was like, oh, maybe I should Google, All like, right. did Richard Branson do, like, a naked Times Square thing? Because I know, um, uh, what's his name, uh, the band, Rage Against the Machine, they did the same thing. Mm-hmm. So in protest, at their concert, they just stood on stage naked. Yeah. Huh. I don't, I don't know what it was for. But, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird? We just don't forget, like, the, we don't forget the meaning. We mm-hmm. just remember, like, the medium. We're just like, oh, they were naked. Why are they naked? I don't really know. So it's like, yeah, it's that right. delicate balance of like shock value and not shock value because you're kind of like, you kind of wasted the opportunity because I don't remember why you were naked. I just remember you were naked. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. So head up New York and uh, try and avoid all the naked men. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think for me, it's uh, like my monuments would be Apple Store places yeah i didn't even i would have gone to that but i didn't even know that was in new york yeah if i went we probably would have gone there like i yeah, would have totally. been like we have to see this it's funny because like there was like the the tourist stuff like obviously that you like should do i guess but like i wasn't even excited for that that was like on my second day like i put all my must sees on the first day so we wouldn't miss it and the second mm-hmm. day was like all the tourist stuff because you're like okay i gotta do that oh 9 11 speaking of that. oh yes yeah so that was super intense they they took the foundation of the building and turned it into like a waterfall. A waterfall? Yeah. Oh, well, right. not, not like like you're probably thinking like, oh my god, it's like a giant waterfall, but it's basically just like water running oh. into yeah, 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 a yeah, giant yeah. hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like. But a very nicely designed oh, yeah, yeah. hole. Very <laughs> nicely designed hole. And like, yeah, the the um, the museum itself was super intense. There was like so many media clippings of the day, and like, yeah. It, it was just, like, shocking to me because I was like, oh, I remember this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I remember, like, being great and I never thought I would see it. But I was like, I should go. Check it out. And they've made that whole park into, like, a futuristic... Like, it looks like the future. Like, I can't stress this enough. Like, I thought Hong Kong and, like, Singapore were, like, the future. I was like, man, they were better than Tokyo for me. I was like, like... Hong Kong and Singapore are the future mm-hmm. and going to New York it's like no no this is the future right. like the buildings are so ridiculously weird they have like a Jenga building 
They have a building that's like a cloud. They have a building that's shaped like a, like an acorn. It's it's just, it's like so fascinating. Right. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Oh, and and uh, speaking of food, so like, me and my sister were like on the last day, we're like we kind of got lost. So we're like, okay, we'll just like eat in this like random. It looks nice. Like, sure, we'll have some like Thai food. We go and we're like. Oh, it's an award-winning Thai restaurant. We had no idea. There's just so many crazy food places there, huh. you know. And like, uh, you know, Eddie. Oh, yeah, you'll appreciate this one. So like, Eddie Wong. Yeah. Shout out Eddie Wong. You shared my story, and then you deleted it, and I was like, that's kind of weird. But like, <laughs> was whatever. I, I got the story still, so like, I got the I got the reshare of the share. Right. So that was cool for me. But like, I was kind of like, why did you delete it? Anyways, um, so like, I went to his place, Dow House amazing dude if we go like oh man the food is so good but like Bauhaus was so sick remember he has that like um that rivalry with David Chang mm-hmm. right so like then right after I was like yo Sunshine we gotta go to like David Chang's <laughs> and so she's like oh man we just ate I'm like no, no no like they have a rivalry I gotta see which one's better <laughs> right so I ate there it was amazing the place is like it's like all stickered up graffiti right. but it's like it's not even dirty is just aesthetically like that because I went to the bathroom and it's like just like that. It's like um, if you look on our Instagram, on uh, my Instagram, I have a picture of like um, um, Spike Spiegel sitting on his spaceship. I'm gonna point it out to you, Vish, right now. It's like that thing right there. Yeah. It literally looked like that spaceship with all the graffiti and like stickers everywhere. Oh wow. But the bath, and they're like, okay, the bathroom's gonna be gross then. No, it smelled like amazing. <laughs> it was like it's just like a normal bath. It's just it's fake. Oh, that's funny. You know, it's just there. Like, it's just the aesthetic. It's not actually dirty. It's just made to look dirty. Mm-hmm. And, like, everything was, like, $5. on Because he's like, why is bao, Why is like Thai food going to be so expensive, right? Right. So it was, like, 5 bucks. So, like, you get this amazingly tasting food for 5 bucks. <laughs> so then 11-minute walk around the corner is uh, Mumafuku, which is David Chang's place. So he went there. Right insanely priced everything's like $30 for like entrees that was like super expensive and then so I ordered the bow not that good Did, like no oh. yeah uh, Eddie Wong's way better <laughs> and then I tried the the noodles and I was like these are okay the mm. only thing that was like to die for sorry David Chang I know this stuff hurts if you hear it because you're like oh like food critics whatever but it's like from a nave person Right. Um, but so the dessert was amazing but it's like yeah I totally get why there's that rivalry because it's like you're selling yourself for five bucks he's selling for 30 bucks but yours tastes better you know what I'm saying it's like really weird yeah I mean like hmm. yeah it's interesting but, but it's the ambiance so like yeah. in his it's very modern it's like they're totally like two sides of the Tao like one's Ha and one's Tha like yin yang you know and like his is like made to look dirty but it's like smells nice and like the food's amazing and then David Chang's place is like so modern, clean, and like the food's like, ah, it's okay. Like, I wouldn't eat there again. Right. You know? But then, like, you look at the clientele, like, all the skaters go to, like, Bauhaus, but, like, all these, like, really rich, upscale people are eating at um, David Chang's place. Mm-hmm. And you're like, is it just the marketing? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not I mean, actually I don't know. the food. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I and mean, they're doing both they're doing like pretty if, well. If so. ba- totally, totally. But if Bauhaus made, was looked like... Maybe if they sleek, looked like that, right. like all glass or something, you'd get, like, so many rich people going there. And then you could jack up the price to be, like... Like, I'd easily pay, like, $12 for, like... So, like, 5 bucks for one bow. Mm-hmm. Which is actually kind of expensive because, like, you only get one little pocket <laughs> for 5 bucks, But, like... If it was like eight dollars, ten bucks, I'd be like, okay, this makes sense because it tasted so good. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, food's great, culture's great, guns are great. Just kidding. <laughs> Got to stop that. Raise the minimum wage, and uh, make guns illegal. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was my review of New York. Definitely hit it up. Um, I'm definitely going to go again, so maybe you can come on the next one. Not now. Like, next yeah. Year. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just got back. It was expensive. But, like, my sister, like, wanted to come back, too. Yeah, yeah. sure. So, yeah, until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye.